Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the last, uh, last example for this chapter. Uh, okay, uh, we have a pendulum. If you remember the pendulum from the uh, physics, uh, we have a pendulum attached to the ceiling. Okay, this is the pendulum with center mass M. Okay, and the pendulum displacement we will call it theta. Okay, all right. Uh, given a pendulum uh, assumption given in the problem, theta is small. Okay, this is the only assumption here. Theta is uh, small. Okay, uh, the length given also the length of the uh, uh, rod or rope, whatever. Okay, find the equation of motion and also find the natural frequency of the system. Okay, okay. Uh, first, use energy method. Can we use energy method here? Yes, we can. Why? Because the system is conservative. Okay, there is no damper in the system. Okay, now I left uh, this uh, problem to the end because it's a very simple problem. And also uh, here the displacement theta, uh, we don't have equilibrium position in this problem. There is no equilibrium position, okay? I don't want to confuse you. And the, and, and the pendulum, because we, have, we don't have a spring, first of all, okay? And in pendulum, in fact, the uh, mass of the uh, pendulum is everything here. The weight of the mass is everything. This is what's moving the system. So we do not have equilibrium position. All right. Now, how we use the energy method first? We need to find the total kinetic energy and the total potential energy. Kinetic energy, look at the mass. We have a mass moving in torsional motion, half. So we need for torsional motion, it's much easier to use torsional motion. So let's assume this is my origin. Half the mass moment of inertia of uh, this center mass around the origin O times theta dot squared. Okay, what is J around O? We did it uh, in chapter, uh, uh, in the previous chapter, I believe. Okay, J around O from parallel axis theorem, it will be ML squared. Okay, all right, so you can calculate this. So I'm gonna keep this J around O for simplicity. Uh, what about the potential energy? Uh, potential energy from the weight of the mass, the weight of the mass, okay? Remember, we do not have equilibrium position here, so the weight is important. The weight, what is moving the mass? So this is my datum line. Let's assume this is my datum line, my reference. So from here to here, let's call it H, small h. So the weight uh, or the uh, total potential energy will be uh, how much? It will be m g uh, l minus l cosine theta. This distance is how much h? This distance h. How much? It is l minus l cosine theta. This one. L cosine theta. Okay. All right. So the total kinetic and potential energy is constant, conservative system, okay. So the time derivative of the total kinetic and potential must be equal to zero, okay. And from here, you can calculate your equation of motion. It will be half, sorry. This is the time derivative. D, oops. D by dt, the total which is half, j naught, 
theta dot squared plus plus what plus mg l l cosine theta this is l cosine theta okay equal to zero take the time zero this is gonna be j not theta dot theta double dot plus mgl what's the time derivative of mgl it's, this is zero the time derivative of this will be zero so mg zero minus l cosine theta l or minus l plus l sine theta what is the time derivative of theta theta dot okay this one separate huh theta dot equal to zero all right what's common here what's common common is theta dot take theta dot outside it's going to be theta dot okay j not theta double dot plus m g l sine theta equal to zero theta dot is not equal to zero okay all the time so j not theta double dot plus m g l sine theta equal to zero remember theta is small that means what we can linearize this okay we can linearize this how we can linearize sine theta if theta is small sine theta theta will be almost equal to theta so the equation of motion will become j naught theta double dot plus m g l theta and this is your equation of motion good equation of motion and from here what's the natural frequency square root this coefficient m g l over j naught that's it okay good all right now let's solve the same problem but using a newton second law okay for newton second law we need what we need the equation we need the um, we need the uh, free body diagram so re redraw the mass and the degree of freedom we have a mass here center mass this is center mass no no area only center mass okay and show the degree of freedom uh, the degree of freedom is here right theta show the degree of freedom theta and let's call this point o the center of rotation the origin okay now for the equation of motion this is your free body free body diagram خلاص now for the uh, summation of what moment around O equal J alpha where is the positive direction for moment with theta counterclockwise okay now show forces we did we forgot to show the forces what are the forces acting on this body we have a tension here of the rope or the rod toward the center and we have also one force here going down how much this force this is the weight m which is going to be how much oops mg this is the weight yes the weight is showing here we do not have equilibrium position here so the weight is counted this is the weight what's moving the system is the weight in fact so we have the weight and we have the uh, tension inside the rope or the string okay now for the moment from the string is ignored why because the uh, tension always toward the origin we do not have a moment we have only moment from here from the weight okay so how much this distance hi shabab this distance is how much uh, this is uh, gonna be negative because against the motion against the uh, uh, degree of freedom uh, uh, yeah theta so it's gonna be mg mg times this distance which is how much this one 
It's going to be L, simply L, sine theta, right? Equal J around O times theta double dot. Yes, خلاص. So J theta double dot plus M G L sine theta is your equation of motion. We need to linearize. Remember, theta is small. Therefore, uh, sine theta is equal to theta. Okay, and this equation will be how much this one? It will be j theta double dot plus m g l theta equal to zero. This is your equation of motion. Natural frequency, square root this function uh, coefficient m g l over j naught. J naught. And it must be the same as the one we got before because we are solving for the same system. Otherwise, there is a mistake. MGL, J naught. MGL, J naught. So we got it the same. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do in the next chapter, inshallah, we will solve more problems in mechanical systems.